Hello, this is Mary from MyChem Labs. In this video, I will be introducing ChemDoodle 3D, which is a graphical user interface with a focus on building 3D molecules and advanced 3D scientific graphics. ChemDoodle 3D is compatible with Mac, Windows, and Linux. In this introductory video, I'll show some of the basic features of ChemDoodle 3D, such as how to render molecular structures. I'll begin by searching for aspirin within the Mole Grabber widget. Once the chemical structure loads, you can click and drag it into the canvas and recenter the scene. The scene can be manipulated in a number of ways, including rotations, translations, zooming in and out, and animations. As an alternative to using the Mole Grabber widget, chemical structures can be drawn from scratch by placing atoms and bonds into the canvas. I'll demonstrate this by drawing cyclohexane. But first, I'm going to open the Minimizer widget and turn on the Auto-Optimize feature. As you can see, the bond length is being optimized in real time due to the Auto-Optimize feature. In order to cyclize this molecule, I'm going to click and drag a bond from one terminal atom to another until I see the red sphere, and then I'm going to release the cursor. As you can see, the cyclohexane is currently in a chair conformation. However, with the auto optimize feature on, I can induce a conformational shift. Now, cyclohexane is in a twist spoke conformation. ChemDoodle 3D can also be used to render macromolecular scenes. I'll demonstrate this by loading the file 3N4B from the Protein Databank. This entire scene can be customized from the large protein ribbons down to the individual molecules and atoms. I'll demonstrate this by right-clicking on this zinc atom, going to Format Atom, where I can customize a number of features, such as displaying the atomic label and multiplying the atomic radius. Alternatively, I could select a molecule in the scene and change its molecular representation, in this case to a van der Waals sphere. The protein ribbon can be customized in the Styles window under the Ribbons tab. There are a number of customizations that can be performed, such as changing the coloring function and the alpha helix expansion width. A free trial of this software can be found by visiting our website. Questions on how to use the software can be addressed by going to Help and accessing the User Guide, where we have an extensive list of software features. Thank you for your time.